Hi there guys, Jack here from Pure Creative Designs and in this tutorial you're looking at creating a fave icon inside Dreamweaver's CS5 for your website. Now if you don't know what a fave icon is, it's this little thing up here as you can see, it's next to our, um, uh, our URL at the top here and also on the little tab. Um, now you see YouTube has one, Swagbooks and all that good stuff, my channel has one, um, website has one sorry. And you know they're really easy to make, and they look they're always good to have, otherwise you just have this blank space there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Photoshop first and we're gonna go file new. Now I'm gonna make mine two hundred by two hundred for now. And I'm gonna hit OK. And then I'm gonna get the gradient tool, so have a black to green setup. Just gonna drag that across. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to the custom shapes and we can go and choose all. We can have a look at them all, okay. And um I'm gonna choose this little um um, what's it called? What are they called? Uh, envelope. That's the one. Yeah. I'm gonna create that. It looks like you know, like a ma you got mail type of thing. You know, like an email. I'm just gonna hold shift, drag that out, and um, can you um, hold shift to move it into place, like so. So we have that nice um, looking, you know, um, envelope there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, might add a little drop shadow to that. So I'm gonna hit Control J and that's gonna dupl duplicate the layer. I'm gonna go to Edit, Transform Path. I'm going to choose Flip Vertical and click Shift and drag down. Okay, just to the bottom. I'm gonna drag the opacity down quite a bit, uh, probably to about 20, 25 percent, just to add you know a nice little drop shadow effect. So that looks okay for a favor icon. So what we're gonna do. Once you've created it, obviously you're going to spend a bit of time, you know, making yours look good. You could either use your um, website's logo, whatever you want in there. Um, but, you know, obviously make it look pretty decent. This looks okay for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go image, image size. And then I'm going to set the width to 16 and the height to 16. Okay, so otherwise if you don't do that, it ain't going to work. So I'm going to make sure it's 16 by 16 because that's the size of a ICO file. Okay, so as you can see, it's gone really small now. We, it's you know, it's really hard to work with something like that because when you, when you um, zoom in, as you can see, it goes really blurry. So I think um, doing it like you know, creating it a bit bigger and then scaling it down is a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go file, save as, and um, I'm going to save it into my local root folder as a PNG file just for now. I'm just going to name it favicon. Okay, so favicon, um, and hit save. Okay. Right now, you can have some plugins that can let you save it as an ICO file. But if you don't have that, what you can do is you can go to the internet. It's going to close my website, and you can go to convertico.com. Um, the link's in the description. So what you can do now is you can um, convert it to a ICO file. So I'm going to hit browse, and as you can see, I'm just going to browse for that fave icon, and hit open. You have to save it as a PNG file because it says there upload a PNG. Or ICO file, so it'll actually um, um, convert it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that, hit convert. Okay, and as you can see, your new icon. That says um, right-click and choose save target as. Now, if you're using um, what is it, Microsoft Explorer, Win you know Windows Explorer, sorry. Um, if you use that, then you can right-click and choose target as. But if you're using Firefox like me, you can right-click and choose save link as. Okay, so let that load up, and I'm going to save it to my site folder again, and I'm just going to name it Favicon, and I can hit save. Okay, let that download, and we can clear that. I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to go to my back to Dreamweaver now, and I've just got an index file here. But if we just hit this little refresh button there, as you can see, we've got two new icons there. I'm going to get rid of the PNG one now. I'm going to make sure I keep the ICO file dot ICO one. But I'm going to get rid of the PNG file because there's no need of it being there. We're not going to be using it, so it's just going to take up space when we upload it to the, you know, your um, web host. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this index file. You can have it as whatever you want, and there's no real easy way of adding a um, fave icon into Dreamweaver websites. So the only way we can do it is by going to Code View. Now, if you're not familiar with Code View, this isn't that hard to get to grips with. Um, this is one of the first things I ever learned to do in code view. I think it's uh, pretty easy to do, so I'm just going to help you out there. But what we're going to do is see this open head tag here. We need to have the fave icon in between this open head tag and this closing head tag. So, as you can see, the title here that's the title that will appear on here. 
I'm just going to put it for now as something like, um, or you can edit it up here, it doesn't really matter, I'll just edit it here. Maybe it's something as a uh, fave icon, got an exclamation mark. And um, underneath the title I'm just going to hit return, that'll make a new line. And then what I can do is I'm going to choose a open bracket, so that's uh, like a greater than, less than type of bracket there. Then I'm going to choose link, right link, space, rel equals, then it's the two little dots like that, you know, the uh, when like someone's speaking, I don't know what they're called. Then I'm going to choose a capital S for shortcut, shortcut, then space icon, and then close the two little um, little dots there. I forgot what they're called, so sorry about that. I'm going to hit space, href, href, okay, then equals, open those two little things again, and then I'm going to hit browse. And then I can go to my images folder and then I can choose that fave icon right there. I can hit OK. And there we are, images forward slash fave icon dot ICO. And then I'm just going to close that off by doing the less than sign, you know, close the bracket off there. OK, so what we have is link space rel equals um, the two little dots there. I don't know what they're called, I forgot. Shortcut space icon, then we've got href equals, and then I browse for that image, and it's our images folder, and I've named it favicon.ico, and then I've closed the bracket. So now if we go into design view, and I go up to the little globe here, I'm going to choose preview in Firefox, I'm going to save the changes, and we go to our internet, let's see if it's worked, as you can see there, we've got our now little new fav icon, as you can see there. So that's the tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you, pl if you did enjoy this um, tutorial, please subscribe. Um, you know, give this video a thumbs up. Help me out. Um, so yeah, so definitely subscribe, guys. More Dreamweave tutorials coming on the way. See you guys.